are low dose birth control pills a good option for perimenopausal symptoms? Well, I'm gonna give you my version and my opinion. Um, if you need to prevent pregnancy, absolutely, this is an option for you. If you go to a traditional doctor, this approach is not wrong, but I'm gonna tell you why I think it's wrong and why what I prefer to do. What is in a birth control pill is an oral synthetic estrogen and oral synthetic progestin. The whole purpose is to prevent pregnancy and prevent ovulation. So it shuts your ovary down so you cannot make your own hormones. That works for people who have a lot of hormones, but when you have not a lot of hormones, you might have worse symptoms on the birth control. In addition, oral synthetic estrogen, specifically birth control pills, has been associated with an increased risk of blood clots, and that risk increases as you age, especially if you're a smoker. Number two, the synthetic progestin that's in a birth control pill has also been associated in several studies with an increased risk of blood clots, inflammation, and potentially depression. So that's another reason why in my patients, if you don't need to prevent pregnancy, this is not what I'm going to do. In addition, when you take estrogen orally in the form of an oral contraceptive, it goes through your liver and it increases a binding protein. As an effect of that binding protein being higher, you will have less testosterone and less thyroid hormone that is free and available to work in your body. Women going through perimenopause don't need less testosterone. Many of them have low testosterone because it's been depleted with stress. Many of them are having symptoms of an underactive thyroid, which is fatigue and weight gain. So it's not a situation where I really want you to decrease your free thyroid and decrease your free testosterone. So those are reasons why I don't prefer to use this in perimenopause. Instead, what I like to use is micronized progesterone. This is FDA approved bioidentical progesterone. And most women in their 40s some mostly have enough estrogen and they have yo-yoing amount of progesterone. So they do really well on that. When you get to late perimenopause, when you're starting to skip periods and you start having low estrogen, at that time, I would introduce an estradiol patch. That's also FDA approved and bioidentical. So that's my practice pattern. That is why I do not prefer to use oral contraceptives for perimenopausal symptoms.